Hey guys, if you're here on this channel for training shoe, apparel reviews, and fitness content, I promise you it's gonna be back next week. I have been traveling for three weeks, so it's been a little bit chaotic and my schedule hasn't been that great for editing and filming, but it will be back soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's gonna be a bit of a chaotic vlog. It spans over three days, doing a lot of different things in these days, but guys, I hope you enjoy it. Peace. What's going on guys? So we are in New York City for the next week and a half and I wanted to do a vlog today. Uh, we're doing a squat session later at Hype Gym, which is Pat Davidson's gym, good friend of mine. Um, that's always a fun time because those guys are animals in there. And yeah, starting the day with New York City bagel. Ooh. What makes it so good, everybody asks? It's a tap water. New York City tap water is divine. And I wanted to bring you guys through a little tour of Mild Hood before I moved out to Denver because I honestly love this spot before we ended up moving. So I'll bring you through there. And then also I'm getting a tattoo later after my squat session. You guys will see that then. Hopefully it doesn't come out bad. My artist is awesome. Last time I was here, I got that one. It's like an homage to my old pup who got hit by a car. Um, and it's like a New York City, kind of like highlighting the fact that I lived here and it was like a dream to live here. And this one is gonna have a little bit of the same spin, but with a different twist. But before we get to the fun stuff today, I do have to go do some work. I have a couple emails to send off, so I'll see you guys in a minute. So we are in our old neighborhood. We used to live by NYU. We're gonna go to Washington Square Park now. How does it feel to be back? I love it. This is home. <laughs> I wouldn't say home, but it was pretty sweet living here at the moment. Also, I called an audible on the day. We are not squatting. I need a, I need a rest day today to be quite honest. So I'm gonna take the full day off today and Saturday and Sunday I'm actually gonna take off as well. We'll hit it again on Monday. The meet is June 13th so realistically I have like four or five really good sessions left and I really like how I'm feeling and when traveling, I'll talk on this more later, so my schedule has been very fluid because of how much is actually going on and how much we booked and stuff so it is what it is. When we're traveling you mitigate what you can and as you prep for a meet you have to be a lot more strategic with where you pull your punches because energy is only so much right now. So this is the street we used to live down. This is Thompson Street. It's like just south of NYU. So that used to be our old apartment. We just stopped by and saw the doorman. It's so cool when you see like the doorman that recognizes you and you can actually catch up and I don't know, it's like a nice little family thing. It's weird because you normally don't have that in more luxury buildings, but this one's a little bit smaller. So you kind of get like that more like tight-knit family-esque connection. Nikki, how much do you miss Soho? I miss Soho less than I miss Noho. True. And Nikki's also way more bougie than me, so. Wait, what? Oh, you don't miss Soho at all? No, I like I like Soho, and I like that it's like a like a, I don't know, like it's like it's such a bougie area, but I almost kind of like it because I'm like almost a like contrary contrary to it because, like I'm the farthest thing from bougie, I would say, right? He likes he likes nice things. No. And he likes being like, feel treated special. No, but he likes I wear like flannels also. So I like that's nice I like <laughs> nice gym things. You can't be bougie when you're walking around New York City with mismatched socks and fucking Birkenstocks. Like there's, you can't be- Those Birkenstocks, I spent good money on those. You I didn't buy them. I didn't it. buy them, Nikki bought them. <laughs> I would not buy Birkenstocks on my own. If somebody would have to buy them for me. Otherwise I'd be walking around barefoot right now. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous for the tattoo. Uh, every tattoo I've gotten, I've always been a little bit nervous for. I think it's just the idea that it is kind of permanent and you're making a decision that has a lasting effect. So there is a, there are some nerves going on in my head, but we'll be fine, right, Nick? Yeah. Rip it. Rip it. We're just going <laughs> to send it. Okay.
right, so this is the squat session from Monday. I only filmed my last four singles. Honestly, I was trying not to get in anybody's way. And when you're traveling and training in so many different gyms, I get really self-conscious about like having a camera out and being that guy who's like, everyone's like, who is this dude? Why is he setting up a camera in the gym and yada yada? But last four singles here, 365, 385. These moved okay. Um, I was squatting in front of these two mirrors here where it was like, one mirror looked higher than the other, and it was really funky, and I freaking hate squatting in front of mirrors, especially when it comes to dialing in depth, especially for powerlifting comp purposes. 405, this is my second to last single. It moved decently well. Like, it didn't feel slow. It didn't feel too heavy, but my setup was a little bit off throughout the full day, so the fact that I was able to hit 405 and 425 and push through them without any real sticking points, like, I was super stoked on. So the 425... Felt heavy, but we moved it pretty dang well. I also got in a deadlift and bench session since the last time I have vlogged. This is the lap top set of my deadlifts. This was 540. This was freaking tough, guys. Like traveling and having no sleep, this was a freaking grind. But hey, if I could hit that on my bad days, I could smoke it on my good days. Bench two is coming along. Um, finished my bench sets with 280 and 290 for my top singles. This is 280. Absolute smoke show. Felt really freaking easy, and 275 actually felt tough a few weeks ago, so I'm stoked on that. 290 here moved really well as well. I think having the Thompson Fat Pad Bench made a huge difference, but that's been kind of training in a nutshell over the last week, week and a half, guys. While on this trip, I was also able to pick up a pair of the ON Cloud X cross training shoes. So my buddy Jamal recommended these. He got a pair and was like, dude, you have to try these. They're very interesting. So while in New York City, I went to one of the local running stores, was able to find a pair, and I've been wearing them throughout the city on longer walks and for lighter sessions and doing them for accessory works after like things like my squat day and so forth. And honestly, so far, they're really interesting. Like this outsole is unlike most things I've tried in the cross training shoe world. So thus far, I've enjoyed this model. It's super lightweight. It's definitely not going to be a great shoe for heavier training, but I'll talk more on that in the review I do of these because I actually do want to kind of push the limit a little bit in these. But from like a day-to-day -day and like just an overall comfortable wear shoe, because I get a lot of asks on which cross trainers or which trainers would be good to wear to like work if I'm on my feet all day. These have been really good. I have walked a good amount since I've been in New York City just going on strolls and kind of like basking in some nostalgic memories. And these have been fan-freaking-tastic for just overall comfort and lightweight nature and breathability of them too, because the mesh upper is pretty breathable as well. But plan to get a review up on these next week when I am back and grounded in Denver. But thus far, the ON Cloud X shoes, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> recap, <laughs> recap <laughs> of the trip so far, recap, go. You have five seconds to rip, 20 seconds of content, go. All right, started in Central Jersey, suburban Jersey feels. Then went to a four day Indian wedding. Really fun, Jake is a great dancer, so good. Um, then we've been in New York well, for I a little bit. Out of all the details, <laughs> you call out that. Out of all the details. I was complimenting you. Um, what do we do next? New York, we're staying in this old creepy woman's home. Not, Nick, she's not Nick creepy, watches she's not creepy. these, Nick watches sorry, these. Sorry. We're staying in the nicest home ever. It's a luxury penthouse suite, Upper West Side. So great, loving every second. All the dolls are really fun to like <laughs> stare at. I'm not gonna lie. The one thing I do really miss about New York City and really anywhere in this area is just being able to walk everywhere. So the reason Central Park is so cool, and this is something actually that Nikki said, is that like, even though you're in the city, it feels like you're almost not for a little bit. And I know like anybody who lives in the more country or, or like very rural areas, is like, oh, like Central Park's not really forest and stuff. And yeah, it's definitely not, but it is cool getting stuff like this. But then also being surrounded by big buildings, so. It's a nice contrast of areas of what you can get. So for the urban New York City dweller, it is pretty cool for a foresty, hikey kind of vibe. Is this Colorado? 
People are gonna learn that this is all I wear. So I literally have one outfit. These are my sandals. <laughs> oh, they're at it. <laughs> Can I zoom out more or no? What? This is the max zoom out I could be? Yeah, it's the max zoom. Now, but you don't understand, to all my shoe friends, is that these are the Burke Outdoors. They're designed for specifically rock climbing. We have a nice smooth tread there to make it really slippery. <laughs> um, it's really just, just a heightened- challenge you, you yeah, know? Yeah, you gotta heighten up your skill level to increase- When are you doing a review on these? Uh, next week, I'm gonna get up the, the review on the, the Jesus Christ 2.0s. <laughs> I'm really banking on him slipping. <laughs> Naruto! What? What? Go Knicks! Go Knicks? Yeah! Alright! Let's go Knicks! Go Knicks! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! So for a quick training update, it's been a bit chaotic. I mean, I expected it because we're traveling obviously for three weeks and this is right in lead up to the meet, but it's been all over the place. Like we have not been at the same gym more than twice now. So it's been a little bit all over the place with different barbells, different plates, different setups, etc. And honestly, like it's been a good mental test more than anything else to make sure I'm there even on my off days. Like I'm not sleeping that well, I'm not eating the same, but I'm still able to move the numbers that I'm going for. And that's a good sign. It's actually boosting my confidence in like almost like an inverse way than what you would expect what you'd expect for the situation. But a couple tips just for anybody else who is traveling or maybe in a situation like this where you're prepping for a meet and everything you do has a very like dialed in structured manner to it, but you don't have that because of whatever life is throwing at you, is control things that you know you're gonna have for like meet day or for your training sessions where you're back. So for me, that looks like pre-workout nutrition and whatever stimulant I'm having for the day. I like to have a cold brew, so I have been making damn sure to have that coffee with me as I go to the gym. And when it comes to my pre-workout nutrition, I like have a bucket of meals that I like before the gym that all like will be interchangeable based on the situation I'm in. So I've been rotating those in and out, and those two variables have been helping me like just mentally like kind of have some consistency. So even though I'm not training at the same time with the same barbell in the same setting, having those two things help me kind of have this familiarity with the training itself and then also music is a big one for me to where i have a playlist that i keep playing and it's like it just kind of gets my mind into a place where it needs to be because like when you're tired and you haven't slept and you have to deadlift a shit ton of weight it's gonna feel like crap and you just have to understand that but if you have some of these consistencies i think it can be a little bit easier to just prep yourself as a whole um, but that all being said guys this i know this vlog has been a little bit chaotic and all over the place um, We'll have our normal content back next week after the Sunday. So for all my folks who love training shoe reviews and apparel reviews and everything else, that will be back soon. Um, for the tattoo reveal, as I showed you guys earlier in this video, I did get a tattoo. Um, I finished this arm here. Basically, it's like a contrast to this one. This is New York City. This is more of the mountain scene. There's a dog in there. There's some consistent variables there. And I feel like that ties actually really well to the topic we just talked about with training while traveling. But guys, if you made it this far, you are amazing. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I plan to have a couple more collabs, hopefully on this trip, before we fly back, but peace.